you know, I've been telling the government we should ban the using the groundwater for the construction activities as well as for the industries. They should learn to use the water which is treated. You know, reuse and mm-hmm. recycle of the wastewater should happen. Now, look at the water requirement in Bangalore. We require about 18 TMC of water. Mm-hmm. 60% of the water comes from the Kaveri River and mm-hmm. remaining 40 to 45% come from the groundwater resources. Now, we choke the landscape with the paid surfaces. Groundwater recharge is not happening. And that is where the scarcity of groundwater resources happened. And also, coupled with that, the changes in climate led to the erratic rainfall in the Kaveri Basin, which was aggravated because of deforestation in the Kaveri Basin. Over the last the four decades, we have lost 45% vegetation cover in Kaveri Basin. And today, in a Kaveri Basin, we have the forest cover of less than 18% as against the norm of 33%. We are not depositing in the water, but the withdrawal is much higher than what is deposited. See, mm-hmm. with the changes in climate, you have the high-intensity rainfall. See, when a rain falls over a period of four to five months, you know the water will be moving slowly on the landscape. But when you have a large quantum of water in a short duration, you know these days in Bangalore and other cities, there were floods in uh, Chennai, Bangalore. These are the cities I have studied. We had predicted there was going to be flooding. See, when a city is a porous of it, our estimate shows 50 to 65 percent of the rainwater gets recharged to the groundwater source. So that means the percolation happens of 65 percent of the rain fall. Only the 35% will flow on the overland because of that flooding was not happening.